Okay, so I want to go on over powder coating today. Um, I got a bunch of 6.8 SBC bullets that I've cast. I uh, will report back more on the findings with it, but I've already heat treated them for an hour at 460 and uh, quenched them. And now I'm powder coating them at 400 and then quenching them. And I'm saving one from the air cooled, one from the heat treated, one from the powder coating, and I'm gonna like figure out what the hardnesses was each time. So I know what the hardnesses are, and if it's different than just powder coating and heat treating, which is what I always did. I'm trying to get a harder bullet, see if I can get something that's a little more accurate. But uh, anyway, working right now with powder coating, it's springtime, it's raining all the time, it's air conditioning's not running. A lot of times I can't get the air conditioner down. 40% has always been the rule for shake and bake uh, powder coating or the humidity, so you can develop static. But since wintertime when the wood stove, get out! The water stove and, uh, sorry, the dog, um, trying to get to the chickens, um, is 40% humidity. And I, I, I just I haven't been able to get there for months. And uh, so I uh, was trying today I think I got a little better. We'll see how it works. I got 160 bullets in the ice cube, silicone ice cube trays ready to go into the oven. And I heated them up to try to get them 120. I think I got more 150 or more um, in here. This thing, my the heat timer doesn't, uh, the, the temperature timer doesn't work very well or um, the thermometer part, you have to use a little inserted um, oven um, thermometer. And I'll, I'll show you that you can get it at Walmart for like $10 um, because you don't know. And the first time I did this, I put it on 400 and I think they cooked it like 550. <laughs> yeah, I was doing 45 cold bullets and uh, they came out down there burnt. Um, so you gotta be really careful with it. and. Um, so, but I heated them up and, and put them in the powder coat and then shook them, shook them and they seem to stick better. So we're gonna see how that turns out. Okay, so I'm gonna run another batch. And uh, this is uh, probably about 80 bullets. And I uh, got them powder coated with the uh, heating them up 120 or 150 and swirl them around because the humidity's kind of high, but I'm baking these this time because I watched one of the videos from El Samo a year or so ago where he bakes his bullets at 250 and it doesn't really make the powder coat really hard, but it keeps, um, since I heat treated these bullets, I'm gonna bake them at 250 for 20 minutes, see if it sets the powder coating. And um, I'll mark these with a, a Sharpie so that I know they're different and um, <clears throat> see how they, I'm gonna save one of these with the rest of the batches and see how, what the hardness compares to. So in two weeks or whatever, I'm gonna file all these down on the side and run the pencils on them and see which uh, what, what hardness did I get on them. And maybe there's a diff better hardness here. Maybe these shoot better. Maybe the powder coating isn't hard enough and, and then I'll know, so. And I'll follow up with some other videos. So there we go, into the oven. Okay, so. Here's the follow up on some of the bullets. These are the ones done at 400. <coughs> they look pretty good. <coughs> and then here are some of the ones done at 250. And to be honest, I don't really see a difference. I'm wondering what the hardness is gonna be. Okay, these are the bullets from the smash test. I did two of them at 250, the one wasn't really the greatest bullet. That's why I kind of smashed it, but then I grabbed a good one and smashed it. And, and it, it had, seemed to hold up all right. And this is one of the 400 ones. So I don't see a huge difference. I mean, maybe, yeah, is that shiny or is that? I don't know. But see, it cracked up around the lube groups for that one too, but I think they still should shoot fine, so. I guess we're gonna find out here, but they seem to uh, hold up. I'm interested in whether, what the hardness difference is between the 400 and the 250. So I got a bullet of each in uh, two weeks. We're going to uh, file them down and run the pencils on them and see. But, uh, 
Okay, so <laughs> fast forward here a couple weeks and uh, I'm still continuing on the heat treating. And uh, I'm gonna show you the results of this. I was actually quite surprised. Um, I read up online on cast bullets and stuff like that about it, heat treating your bullets. And people were talking about powder coating annealing them. And then other people said, no, no, I won't anneal them because you're throwing them back in and you're water quenching them after they're done. And then other people are saying, oh, yes, they will. Yes, they will. And, you know, blah, 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 blah back and forth. And uh, I'm here to tell you, it does anneal them. And I've got the proof right here. I'm going to come over here and show you. Um, I did some test results. I saved bullets from each. And I'm going to show you here in just a second. Okay, so here's my test results. The first bullet right here was cast out of the mold. Air cooled on May 4th. And then it was heat treated at 460 on May 5th for one hour. <coughs> Excuse me. And then it was powder coated the next weekend, May 12th, at 400 degrees. So this one was. And then this one was powder coated the same day, a different batch, at 250 degrees. And so here's the results. The, they, uh, the air cooled scratched with a 2B pencil, and that's a 12 13 hardness. The hardened went with an H and came out as a 16. The powder coated annealed at 400, 400 degrees and dropped down to a 13 after it was water quenched. The powder coated at 250 stayed at 16. So it was a 16 here and it stayed a 16 when it was done at 250 and the powder coated at 400 dropped to a 13. So powder coating at 400 did anneal the bullet. So, you know, you can do your own, a path, you know, your own summaries and figure it out your own way, but this is what I found and it seems to be true. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Learn something that powder coating bullets is actually dropping some of the hardness off of the bullets. It's actually annealing them when you're doing it at 400. I don't know how these bullets are going to shoot at 250. I'm going to have to load some up, take them out to the range and see. See if they shoot any different, if there's any letting or any kind of anything. But I doubt there will be because I did the smash test on it and covered that earlier already. But, you know, anyway, y'all enjoy yourselves and uh, screw YouTube and their communist policies against making ammunition and showing someone how to cast bullets. Look for me on Rumble. I'm uh, Archery Rob on Rumble. My name is Rob Goble. Y'all enjoy and have a good day and stay free.